Hello there and welcome back to Satisfactory, which you just saw loading there for a bit, and uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've played this game, uh, at least, because I haven't actually played it for almost a week, which is shocking, honestly, I didn't think I'd be able to last that long without Satisfactory, my, my, my favourite game right now, and okay, we've already got a lot of liquid biofuel, wow, but right over here, that one's mostly empty, okay. Probably should build a couple more of these industrial fluid buffers then, shouldn't I? So I've done some thinking, I am thinking that these concrete foundations definitely look a little bit better than the normal ones. What do they? I don't know, um... And, and then if we want to, we can always just go for the grip metal foundations, which also look really nice, actually. Ooh. Hmm. Nope. I want the normal, no, wait, how, how, air foundation, there we go. I'm thinking though that I might just have to, hmm, yep, we're going for the grip metal. Because it just, it looks so nice. But we definitely need more steel. Okay, so I think that the problem that we have now is that we most definitely need to improve our um, steel beam manufacturing business. Also, something I'm kind of curious about. Awesome things, right? Because we're thinking of the extra products that we have. How many? Oh, okay, well, I need power for that. Okay. Can I connect this, or is that too long? That's too long. I just barely. 81! <laughs> okay, that's quite a lot. Okay, wow. I need to make some packages, though. I love how this grip metal foundation looks, to be honest. It looks just so good. Also, I might have to make a accelerator to get me over to there faster, maybe. From here. And wow, we've got so much solid biofuel and it's still going. Wow. I'm definitely going to have to make more of these industrial fluid buffers. Okay then, so what I've done is I've just got a whole new factory swatch now. And everything's got new colours, I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Okay then, so I've got some packaged liquid biofuel now, and let's see how this stuff is. Okay, it's pretty good and it lasts for a really long time. This stuff is actually really, this stuff is amazing, wow. This, this lasts for so long. It's actually got quite a kick to it as well. Okay then, so yeah, this is just a way better fuel source. Wow. Definitely taking all that, and I'm definitely also going to have to make it a uh, dimensional depot, which means I need more sand fluctuators. I think that it might be time to get the geothermal generator. Yay. Geothermal generator unlocked. Geysers added to the object scanner. When life gives That's you really lemons, expensive. make lemonade. When life gives you deadly geothermal know. vents, run directly towards them and build generators. Incredible advice. It's potentially lethal natural phenomena for your own benefit. It's the fix it way. Wait, potentially lethal? Can they actually damage me? And yeah, over here we can put some geothermal generators down and everything. And oh yeah, they do need high speed connectors. Okay. And wow, that actually, that makes a lot of power, wow. So now I just need to go and put down a crafting station and make a whole bunch more uh, thingies. And how many more geysers are there? And just that one more, okay. Where are my high speed connectors? And we can also now make one of these the nutritional inhaler. Yay. How else? Nutritional so inhaler recipe that. unlocked. Using this inhaler I'm will restore diamonds. health and also Converter? gives your skin a radiant glow that is connected to well-being okay. and probably not radioactivity. Hmm. Don't know if you heard what that thing just said there, but it was quite mm, interesting. Uh. Then we just need a hard drive for that. Do I have any hard drives? I've got five of them. Wow. That's a surprise. So now all I need to do is go and get the special power 
not a special power, you know, the, the stuff. And it's time for some turbo fuel, yay. And let's see what other uh, different types of energy we can get. Rocket fuel? Turbo fuel unlocked. Empty this fluid upgrade tank. to regular fuel is optimal for fuel powered generators, jetpacks, and fulfilling long distance trucker fantasies. Hmm. That looks like it takes some complicated stuff that ends up. How do we even need to make turbo fuel? Uh. Okay, well, that's a package turbo fuel, so it takes compacted coal and fuel. Okay, well, that's very annoying to make. Although, I could probably. Probably could do that, to be honest. I just make an unpackager that's making. Uh. Yeah, I could probably make some of that. Well, I've gotten kind of bored of waiting, so I'm gonna go and make the very fancy logistics MK4. Yay! Milestone reached. The transportation of resources can reach new heights of efficiency with the Mark IV belts and lifts, the truck, but even more importantly, your effort. Handling a large and complicated vehicle like the truck should come easy to a well-trained pioneer such as you. They are an obvious improvement over tractors concerning industrial purposes. Improvements for personal use were not measured. Hmm. Is there anything? I, I feel like I should get rid of something, you know? Because I feel like there is some stuff that I don't really need. And I guess I can put this in slight. So now... You've got the Mark IV conveyor belts, the Mark IV lifts, and they all take encased industrial beams. Okay. Okay. Pipeline engineering MK2. Yay. Milestone reached. Pipelines and pipeline pumps can now be upgraded to Mark II. They are like Mark I, but better. Pipes like seem Mark to be objects but of fascination to humans. In fact, there are reported instances of humans doing nothing but thinking about pipes for hours. I think that those might be the wrong types of pipes. Oh, what can I just shove in the... Melter. The incinerator. All of this stuff, probably. I mean, I don't really... I don't, do I need steel beams? No. Let's play so this, that, that. Definitely keeping these. Motors, I don't know if we've even got the full storage of motors. We might not. And I think that we in fact do not. Oh wait, no, never mind. We, we most definitely do. Okay, well. I guess it's time to give this thing an overflow. Just trying to uh, do as many research trees as I can. And then I can detect these things. Added to okay, the definitely not doing that today. Note, it cannot detect the species, um. only aggression. There are many creatures that dislike you, Pioneer. But I am your true friend. Ah, that's... Nice to know. Okay, so now I just need some fabrics and polymer resin and stuff. And, okay, so the, I think that the only trees that I can complete right now are the Caterium one. Because I think that I've got everything that I need to get all the research done for that. Actually, no, where is... Where's the rifle? Ah, oh, it's here. Yeah, I could get that if I wanted to. I probably should start automating some weapons, shouldn't I? We have explosive... Gas Nobelisk unlocked. Chase away creatures with a damaging cloud of gas. Note, also harms unwary pioneers. Not for recreational use. Not for recreational use. Hmm. Well. I really need to go and get some. Uh. Smoke glass powder going. I'm a bit confused by what this is. Because it says it's crude oil, right? But then when I try to put down a oil extractor, right, it, it doesn't work. And even on these little side ones, it also doesn't work. So yeah, there's some. There's some special oil here. Right now I'm going after the industrial manufacturing stuff because I want those space elevator parts and no one can stop me apart from the fact that I just need to go and quickly grab a bit more cable 
Thank you. Time to do industrial manufacturing. Alright, let's see what we need for these new parts. Milestone reached. Modular engine. Can receive up to four inputs for the production okay, of complex parts, bad. such as computers and heavy modular frames. Uh, but most importantly, the two new project parts. The modular engine and adaptive control unit are essential for the development of phase three of project assembly. You are making good progress. The future is starting to look bright. Okay. This stuff looks really fun. Okay, then so time to build the first manufacturer. I'm glad that these things only have a single output port, but oh wow. This, these things are massive. And I need to put down one of these slabs. Is that all aligned correctly? Yep. Yeah. Right then, so. Manufacturer. Wow, why it, this thing is absolutely massive. Yay. Bigger, better, fix it. Gotta be honest though, this thing looks crazy. Wow. I'm excited to see the animation that this thing has. But for now, I'm just gonna go and deal the summer's loops out of these. Nom. And nom. And put them into these. Okay, these take so many more. How many do I have? Ooh. Okay, great start. Wow. Okay, then, so we have got these things going, and uh, the animation looks really, like, interesting and stuff. Now, this isn't building a, uh, whatever these are, but I, th I think this is building a Luca computer, because I picked one of these up before, and yeah, that does look to me like a supercomputer. Wait, where does that go now? Okay. Let me see, it goes under, it goes down. If it goes down into there and then out, I guess. And we've got one. A singular one. So yeah, there we go. Uh, adaptive control units are done. That's just the uh, these. And for those we need smart plating. Oh. How about how about uh oh wait no I I know okay. So motor. And a rubber. Okay, and it's taken a little bit, but I've finally automated crystal oscillators, as well as AI limiters, and circuit boards, which I honestly, they just kind of look like, they just kind of look like a graphics card, in my opinion. Anyway, now that we've got those automated, we just have to kind of just wait, unless I'm just going to go and make a bunch of heavy modular frames and computers. But we now just kind of, yeah, we do just have to wait for phase three to be completed. And I don't know if this has all the stuff that it, it no, it doesn't. Well, and that's adaptive control units, and we only need one more. Oh, well, we're going to get a little bit more than one more, why not? And then for these, okay, we just need a bunch more rubber. And motors as well. And now I've finally got all the stuff that we need to automate, what's it called, um, heavy reinforced steel beam things or whatever. Also computers, which I kind of forgot to hook up to the output thing. Oh well. But now we've also got these things which we also need to hook up to the outputs. And I've come back because I realised why the solid biofuel plant wasn't working. And it is time to just build and launch that. Whoa! Oh, did you see there was a face? Milestone what? Reached. The blueprint Ooh, mark trains. Upon the mark one in every dimension, mm. except for the metaphysical ones. 
This improvement was made available due to complaints from pioneers about other pioneers not being capable of managing their space efficiently. Wow. We listen to pioneers always. We, we listen to pioneers always. Okay, hmm. So I'm not sure what I really use this, use these, use these for because I kind of just have, I kind of like just having these massive uh, lines. Although well I, well, I guess that it could be useful. I mean, it's, it's like it's, it's not like there's no point in having it. I probably will use it one day, but I don't really need it right now, so I'm just not going to take it. I just realized something crazy. Each of these manufacturers that I have, they take 738 megawatts each. Which I mean, kind of makes sense because it's the normal amount multiplied by 2.5 multiplied by 2. So that's like, what, five times the amount they normally take? Actually, I'm not sure if this is precisely how much they take. Hmm. Maybe it might be, but it might also be like multiplied by four because they've got four summers loops in there but anyway so i've been doing lots of stuff honestly i can't remember what i have covered and what i haven't because i've been playing for a while in fact probably a bit too long but you know i'm probably i'm probably going to be getting a four hour warning soon anyway so over here you might notice that this looks a little bit longer than usual and that is because i've also put in heavy modular frames computers circuit boards AI limiters and crystal oscillators and I, it's not really proper automation it's just kind of a I, I need them sometimes so I may as well have them a little bit automated it's very messy but it works to automate them is this yeah that's working that's fine that's good and over here you can see that this also should be working at 100% efficiency and this is so normally these take 55 megawatts, so that one over there, that is insane. And over here you can see that, the, that we're also making these. We've got some steel screws here as well. So, um, yeah. See an underwater lizard doggo. Very, very strange. Have you ever seen an underwater lizard doggo? Bet you haven't. Pet the underwater lizard doggo, pet the underwater lizard doggo, pet the underwater lizard doggo. Look at him. He's no longer underwater, okay. Rude. Should have stayed underwater, it was cute. Can't believe he would willingly not stay underwater. So I was just crafting some high speed connectors, and I noticed we've completed phase three. Yippee! And I think that I'm gonna go up there to watch the animation, right. Seal. <laughs> this is this is the main body, and it unlocks tier seven and eight. Pretty nice. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer <laughs> Progress presentation. Yay. Congratulations. The Phase 3 Project Part Shipment is finally ready for delivery. Mm -hmm. On delivery, Phase 3 will be completed and the main body will be constructed. Ooh. You should know how this works by now. You'll get access to Tiers 7 Ooh, and 8 have a, Oh, nuclear power! Fact, yes! You should just and have a bag. <laughs> oh, An aerial it's transportation. So that even a monkey could oh, this looks like so much so fun. No issues. Oh, I'm so Speaking excited. Which, I don't think you need a reminder okay. about project Okay. Well, parts. nuclear pasta. Some interesting facts. That sounds Did difficult. You know the average pioneer succeeds at saving the day? Did you know the average pioneer knows how to optimize pipe throughput? Did you know the average pioneer stays late at work because they care about humanity? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I thought you might want to know more about your peers. Good luck in phase 4. Become average or better. Well, Time to send it up. And I'm definitely gonna go up here to watch it. Ah, uh, no, 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 not over there. Although, actually, I guess that I could probably also go over here to watch it. Uh, I don't wanna go over here. I don't, actually, I might wanna go over here. It looks like I can see, I can watch it quite well. I'm going under the ground. I'm gonna miss it. No, no, I don't wanna miss it. Wow, look at it going up. Wow, very cool. Oh, I love that, wow. 
That looks so cool. Phase three of project assembly completed. Fixit's predictions indicate pioneers should generally reach this point faster with above average results, but we should all adjust our expectations according to the situation. <laughs> it is understandable. The pressure and complexity yeah. will only increase from here, so be sure to take on phase four with efficiency and competence. That thing looks insane. Wow. That is definitely quite nice. That honestly looks so good. Look at that. That looks incredible. And honestly, I think that it is good that we managed to watch it from over here instead. Probably could have gone back and seen it from over here, but oh well. Uh, the, the place that I wanted to watch it from was up here, and I think... Would we have gotten a view, better view from up here? Maybe. Mm, I'm not sure. Anyway, look at that. And... I'm, I, what? Well, look at... It's not even got the normal project assembly colours anymore of like the... What kind of the orange and black. It's the red and black now. Uh, which we, I, I'm probably sounding a bit too shocked or surprised about such a small thing. Oh, logistics MK5. We need alkaline aluminium sheets. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, look at this though. Oh, and bauxite refinement. Okay, well that's that's all in tier seven. We, oh wait, no, we've already got, got tier six and not hazmat suit as well. That would be pretty nice. Control system development. Blender. Sulfuric acid. We can already scan for sulfur. Assembly director system. What? So hang on, so, so now I can already scan for that. But but uh, So I, I want this. I want that hover pack. I need that hover pack. Package alumina solution. What? Alumina solution? What? Uh huh? What are these still? Hang on, hang on. So to get alkaline aluminum sheet, uh, aluminum, I'm aluminium. I'm reading it wrong. Oh, because it's written in American. Okay. So to get the alkaline aluminium sheet, we need to get the bauxite, mine the bauxite, turn it into aluminum solution, turn this into aluminum scrap, aluminum. Why do I keep on saying that? Alumi aluminium scrap? And then turn that into aluminium ingots, which we can then turn into alkaline aluminium sheets. Okay. Oh, this looks like it is. Oh, I'm not excited to make automation stuff of this. But okay, well. Yeah, that's probably going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, I don't know how. Oh, nuclear power! Aeronautical engineering drones. Oh, that's cool. Nuclear power. Advanced aluminium production. Resource well pressurizer. Resource well extractor. Oh, okay. No, I understand. That's for the, the extra stuff. Okay. Okay, empty fluid tank. Yeah. Fused modular frames. What? I don't need that. Okay, cooling system, heat sinks and stuff. Leading edge production. Minor MK3. Turbo motors. Thermal propulsion rocket. Particle enrichment. Plutonium pellets, non fissile uranium, particle accelerators. What? Copper powder? It's a pressure conversion? Plutonium pellets look really cool, though, don't they? This. I. I'm. I'm. Uh, uh, this stuff looks insane. Also, I might quickly go and just unlock these, just so that I have them unlocked. And we've got all this. How do I get the fists to show up again? And then for this, we can't put any of this in. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, we only need just 50 computers, okay. Train logistics can be made more precise and complex with tools found in the railway signaling milestone. I listen to all my pioneers, often when they're not even aware of it. Okay, well... So due to popular demand, I have added a motivational message. Choo choo mother f 
Yes, due to popular demand. I did I did not expect that. I guarantee that was actually due to popular demand. I have a feeling that satisfactory players are something else. I've been playing for four hours. And I will take a sip of some water. Never mind, I've already drank all of it. Oh. I just found something crazy. Unlock Songs of Conquest Boombox Tape. What? This is... This is most definitely quite interesting. Songs of Conquest, original soundtrack. Thank you for the music. You're welcome. One fact about me, I don't like spiders. As in, I, I really, I really don't like spiders. I, I, I don't mind them when they're like this, though. This form of spider is kind of, it's, it's fine, in my opinion. I'll try. Fixit engineers experimented with soft drives, but the prototypes all went missing. They were later located in the toilets, being used as towels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I'm going to survive this, actually. Spoiler alert. Maybe, because I thought that I would die if I hit the water there. Hmm. I wonder where this Somazu could possibly be. It wouldn't be anywhere obvious, would it? Oh, that's a massive lag spike. Oh, no. Please don't crash the game. Please don't kill me, either. Oh, no. Oh, no. I really hope that this water here is deep enough. Ah, I'm alive, I think. Oh no. Oh, the video is only just updated. I'm getting, what, uh, I think twice the amount of the frames per second as the video. Oh no. Help. Oh, it's speeding up. Oh no. It is, <laughs> that is terrifying. Big rock. Oh. Oh wow, hey, it's all simulating again. Oh, oh no, this is painful to play. Oh, oh yeah, I see this. Oh, it's all gone. Okay. Look at how it's just floating there on the wall, that's interesting. Oh, actually, I kind of want to have a photo of that because that looks, that looks quite cool. Perfect. Didn't notice that the stinky fish flowers were above me, and I was mining the sulfur, and then I noticed I'm taking damage and I started to run away, but I had not very much health. Watch this. Oh, it's beautiful. And one, two, three, four, five spiders in a single place. Wow. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. <laughs> so... Context, right? I was going, I, was, I saw the Mercer Sphere, right? And I was thinking, okay, enemies up there, just a bit of radiation, I'll be fine. I last opened the thing, rush in because all the rocks are in the way, and I see that thing right in my face. Not very nice. I wonder if I can just get him from a distance. No, because he's moving, and he's jumping, and he failed. Okay, now's my time. Good news, I found the Mercer Sphere. Bad news, I don't like where I found it. I hate those guys. Ow. Rude. Yeah, I got him. Now I just need to watch out for his uh, remains. Uh, there were three big spiders up here. And I was flying around with the jetpack and they all jumped down. I'm very happy with myself. Oh, yay. I'm not very happy with myself anymore though because I just found some things that I do not like. Oh my goodness. Well, one of them's gone at least. Okay, but there's another one up here. Okay. Okay, wow. Oh, there are so many spiders up here and I'm running out of fuel. Why am I running out of fuel now? This is the terrible time to be running out of fuel. No. Oh, great. Now all the flowers have activated themselves. Okay. 
Okay, I'm fine. Oh, I, I wish I was live streaming right now or something like that. Because this spider just jumped up here. And I kid you not, I literally went and said... Oh my... Okay. I hate those flowers so much. I just found another radioactive boy. Oh great, and some spiders. Oh, I love this adventure. I just got an amazing idea. Well, I've got pulse and obelisks unlocked, right? Of course, and as soon as I think of my amazing idea, all of these monsters are gone. Those pulse and obelisks absolutely saved me. Right? Oh my, where did you come from? Okay. Oh god, I do not like those sounds. Uh, I'd bad to say I'm in a bit of trouble. And I would say that there is no better time than now to use those pulse and obelisks. So if I just throw one down right there, and then detonate it, then does he go flying off the cliff? No, not completely. But now, come on, yeah, that one's gone. All right, those things. Okay, these are massive ones, though, so I need to be careful with these. Oh no. Um, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Damaged hard Very nice recovered. stuff. Return yeah, to the nice. map where it will receive the best recovery and rehabilitation okay. care available. The, the best recovery and rehabilitation care available. You've got to be kidding me. I grabbed that summer's literally the second that I died. That's going to be the end of this video. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I, I like this game too much. I want to keep on playing. And uh, yeah, I guess that I will see you all next time. And uh, as, a, as a very nice goodbye. I will just launch myself off the cliff, and while I do that, I'll tell you about some of my plans. So while I was over here, I noticed that I think somewhere down here, or maybe a bit lower, I think maybe over here, there is a massive group of oil and a bit of like sulfur and stuff from geysers. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be an amazing place to make a fuel power plant over there? Oh no. Ah. Mmm. Ah no. Ah. Uh, is that someone's loop? Yes, it is. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get my stuff at the first wall. I'm gonna go get this. Anyway, if I just go and scan for crude oil. Wait! Oh, I can't get this one yet. Oh, no, please. Please. Anyway, as you can see, there is a lot of crude oil and stuff over there. Oh, there's a lot of everything everywhere. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go get my stuff back now. And I'm gonna go get that someone's loop. Ah! Hmm, yeah. Okay. Bye. Anyway, yeah, uh Yeah, somewhere over there. You 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 saw the things show up. Bye.